Welcome back everyone. In this session, we will connect our API calls and build the front end, allowing the user to subscribe to a product. So let's go back to Stripe subscription page. As I mentioned, creating a customer should be done during onboarding. Maybe for example, you create an account, you also make that API call. But here I'm just showing you how you can do it manually. You can combine the flow. So what we need to do here is add the API call. So firstly, one is to make the API call, of course. And the API call we need is create customer. And the variables we need to pass is the email of the customer. So let's go to authenticated users email. Um, I'm just gonna write this response here as a variable. And then what we need to do, what if when we get the response from Stripe, we let's update our backend, update the Stripe custom key. So update the user reference, and then I will also update the Stripe custom ID to be a variable. And it's gonna be the API response, which is action output. Um, JSON body, predefined path, we defined it as that ID. And maybe it just also throw, you know, throw a, a, a snack bar just to show that's done. Drive customer key created and linked. Let's just write that as verification. That's great. Next, what we need to do here is uh, let's quickly test this to see if it works. Oh, before I do that, maybe I will just add the text here, the customer key. So I'll show you that to show that it actually works. So conditional customer key exists. Set it not empty, let's just do that. So when we pray customer, initially it will be blank because there's no customer linked to that this user that's logged in. Um, but when we press create customer, this ultimately should be updated with a customer key. So I'll press create customer key. The API is calling. You can see here that Stripe created a customer. Um, Cusp, IL, blah, blah, blah. Perfect. And if we go to the back end, we can see here in the database, we also see the customer ID we installed here for this email. Uh, and then if you go to Stripe, let's refresh this page. You can also see that the customer has been created here and look into the detail within Stripe. Next, what we need to do is configure the checkout flow. So as I mentioned, the flow is very basic here. Um, so what I want is basically the user to select a product based on a product. And when they press subscribe, we you know capture this information in our backend. So let's do this. Uh, so we need to configure the action. Uh, the action we need is similarly an API call. And the API call is going to be Stripe subscription, create checkout session. And the variables we need a customer key, which we now have. Um, it's authenticated users, Stripe customer ID, success URL. Uh, let's quickly just copy a random one here. The cancel URL. And the price. So the price would be based on the drop down widget now. Because a drop down, if you recall, would have this price here. Now let's, oops, now let's uh, rename this uh, subscription session. I just call it like that. Uh, if it's false, we do, you can show error or whatever. But if it's true, let's launch the URL because ultimately we want the user to go to the checkout page. Um, there's a way to launch it internally within a browser, um, whatever, right? Like here I'm just using a uh, basic launch URL action without customizing it. So the URL we wanna launch is the subscription session URL that we have defined in JSON body, predefined path URL. And I believe that's it in terms of checking out. So let's close this and test it again. Um, let's run the test. So now it's loaded. Um, let's select the basic $19 per month and press subscribe. You can see here the launch, uh, we launched to 
checkout, uh, Stripe to native checkout. Let's close this. Let's go back to the premium. You can see if it also changes to a premium price of $30 per month. Great, easy, uh, perfect, perfect. So this is how you can implement the checkout flow. I'm not gonna subscribe, i.e. go through the checkout flow, because before I do that, I wanna just set up um, our webhooks to listen to um, whether the user has finished subscribing. We'll cover that in the next lesson. In the meantime, if you like the series, please feel free to make a donation or comment, like, or subscribe to keep updated on the series.